Hey, what's up my units? I am back here with another video. So I'm gonna get to the point why I didn't upload last week. When I'm done talking, I'm actually gonna be at the end of the video. So if you wanna go check that out, it's gonna be at the end of the video. I just don't wanna conflict of the two time schedules I'm doing right now. But today I just wanna talk about DeAndre Ayton. If you didn't know, DeAndre Ayton signed a mass contract with the Pacers and the Suns matched the offer sheet. And I'm not gonna lie, when I got phone service, I was mad hearing about this because I got both of the news at the same time. I'm not even kidding you. It's literally was on my story, guys. I was just so so mad i was upset i was like dang i missed out on so many jokes i missed out on so many drama so many news that was coming out with that one point i was very mad because i had no connection the place i was staring at it was just very bad i couldn't even post or anything it was getting me upset and i'm not even gonna be mad because i'm really mad at my own selfish reasons and I'm gonna just tell you exactly why. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, after the Phoenix Suns basically waited years or something to sign DeAndre Ayton or do anything with him, I was ready DeAndre Ayton to go. I was ready to see him put on a new jersey. B, this would have been very major for the Pacers. The Pacers, it, they need some type of relevancy, you know what I'm saying? And that would have been great. And C, this hurts my Spurs chances of getting that number one pick because now the Pacers have a way bigger chance of competing for it, obviously. Now they don't have that much, like, I'm gonna say talent, but they don't have their good of a center of DeAndre in. Now the Pacers, I love Tyrese Halliburton. We seen what he could do. He probably like the most underrated playmakers in his league because of the team he plays for. And when he got traded, bro stats look eye popping, but you can see he got major talent. And he was literally putting up 17, nine and four with great efficiency, with great defense and with a weak supporting cast. And people are gonna bring up the fact that he went six and 20 in this stretch with Tyrese, but the starters who was playing with was kind of injured. You know what I'm saying? like the main people he was supposed to be playing with there was injured there's nothing he could have done about it tj warren was injured miles turner was injured and the fact that he still averaged nine assists with a supporting cast like that it's crazy you can never take away something like that from tyrese halliburton you're, you're not supposed to average nine assists like i couldn't understand if it was scoring because scoring numbers is like with garbage numbers you know what i'm saying that's that's a difference, you know what I'm saying? Of course, their volume scoring is going to go up when you're on a losing team. But dimes, though, that's very unheard of, you know what I'm saying? Because the supporting cats are not good enough to actually score, you know what I'm saying? Stop. Okay, guys, I'm not going to lie. I just want to grow my channel. I'm sorry I'm stopping this video, but I just want to I just want to grow my channel. So if it really wouldn't mean much to you, if you can subscribe or can you like my video, it will really help me in the long run. I really do like making videos for y'all. And I feel like if you guys just do that, that will actually help me with the algorithm. So if you want to do that, please that help me out. If you don't want to do that, that's fine. Just go ahead and skip me. Just tap your screen or just press right on your keyboard or something. And you can skip like the 15 seconds of this. But all right, guys, uh, let's go back into this video. And not everyone in this game could be a great playmaker like this man Tyrese Halliburton. He gets people in the good spots and that's why I really would have loved him with DeAndre and I said this in my last video. I said now to you know you have DeAndre in which I really did mistakenly say that he could create his own shots. I didn't mean it that way. I was saying it as if you put him in his right spots. Yeah, he's going to score like his probability of scoring is going to go higher more than him posting up and just probably you know just doing whatever and now deandre in personally i would feel some type of way if i was deandre in i would have requested a trade like you got signed before bismack biombo and i feel like if the suns didn't lose javel mcgee this video really wouldn't exist we probably would be talking about a sign-in trade for him to the pacers and i don't know if this rumor is true but there was a whole rumor of the suns thinking that any center can really do what deandre in do and i'm not gonna lie that's kind of sad and that's very sad for a young talent like DeAndre in because not only he's forced to play the third position, I mean, not third position, he's forced to play the third option. And it just looked like the coach don't even have him in his game plan. I mean, you, you saw that in his last game, he literally sat him out. They just, he thought that was a good idea not having him in the game, but he still kept CP3 and Booker out there when they was just bricking like crazy. Honestly, I expect DeAndre in probably getting traded and if he really cares about his career. Cause obviously this is just an, I won't say a toxic hawk sold, but I would say like 
they don't trust in him there's no trust they don't believe in him like deandre believe in himself honestly just better yourself on sometimes and i don't see the suns winning a championship so if you want to just waste your career on the phoenix suns go ahead like go go ahead i mean chris paul eventually he's gonna retire sooner or later he got like two years left probably i don't see him playing at the over above the age of 40 and now the pacers i mean they really no loss to anything they did they probably lost miles turner trust but it's whatever sadly okay guys i really didn't upload this because what i was thinking i was in orlando the service in that i want to say hotel but if you don't know what westgate is please don't ever go to westgate bro you can never like the connection there is so bad the wi-fi there is so bad every time i did an upload it not upload but every time i did an instagram post it was just so bad everything was so slow even with the wi-fi the phone connection was horrible i had t-mobile t-mobile oh my god bro but yeah that's literally what happened i couldn't upload or nothing so i'm sorry if i was just telling y'all i was uploading every day i do upload monday through saturday saturday time is not the same time as my monday through friday schedule i upload monday through friday at 10 a.m sharply and on Saturdays, it's 12 p.m. I did skip this is my second time. I did skip my Saturdays, and I'm sorry. I'm not going to do that again. But, yeah, guys, please uh, check me out. You know what I'm saying? And peace out. Have a great day.